Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. If you go to his website, learnpythonthehardway.org, you can click on right here where it says, read the free HTML online. And if you click on that, it'll take you to this page, which is the table of contents. In this video, we're gonna be looking at exercise 12, which is called prompting people. And it's a, it's a follow-up, a modification of exercise 11, asking questions. If you click on that, it'll take you to this page. Now, in the last exercise, we talked about how to uh, ask a question on the command line in the shell, uh, that's terminal or PowerShell, and then get that information and then insert it into a variable so it could be used later in a string. We're gonna be doing the same thing here, exactly the same, except a slightly more compact format and one that's a little easier to follow. What it is, is this. And so here I'm going to show it to you in um, Text Wrangler. So here I am, and the first line here is we start by declaring the variable that we're going to put the information into. It's age in this case. So age, and then equals, which is the assignment operator, which means put this value into the variable age. And then we have raw input. We had that before, um, and, but then in parentheses, excuse me, in, uh, yeah, in parentheses, we then have the question that we want to appear on that line. So previously we had the question and we had a comp, we had print and we had the question, we had a comma, and then we had the age and raw input on the second line. Now it's all in one line and it's a little easier to understand what the format is, that this all feeds into the variable age. We do a similar thing for height, where we declare the variable, we have the assignment operator, we specify take the raw input that you get from this question in the parentheses. And same thing again for weight. And then print out the answer. Now I'm just gonna use Zed's default version instead of uh, my rephrased version. Um, I do wanna show you a couple of other things. Zed also recommends that you try getting a little bit of information from the Python documentation. Now we've done man before for this manual for the shell, and but you can also get documentation or help information from Python with PyDoc, and you type in PyDoc, and then you type in what it is you want, don't use quotes. You type to quit when you're done. Um, and you can also do these other ones. He says, also take a look at the PyDocs for open, file, OS, and sys. Two of these, uh, the first two, open and file, also have, have similar entries in man, and manual, that's the manual, that's the shell prompt, or the uh, the terminal help. We'll take a look at those things in just a moment. Let me just uh, run this thing. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna ask us these three questions right here, and then it's gonna print out this answer. So let's take a quick look. Let's type in Python. And by the way, I'm already in my directory scripts. I'm focused on my folder scripts where my scripts are. So I can just type this ex12.py. That's the name of the file, see? Here's the file right here. And there's its contents, it's the same as what we have over here. So I just hit return. How old are you? Older than you, that's what I'm gonna say. How tall are you? Almost tall enough. And the point here is even though we specifically asked for, you know, you would think about putting in um, numbers, what's doing is it's taking this information and it's just turning it into a string. So you can put anything you want there. Let's say I weigh 100 plus. And then, ta-da, so you're older than you old, almost tall enough tall, and 100 plus heavy. And again, it's a, it's a more concise way of getting the same information. Now, Zed did want us to take a look at the PyDoc information also. And you type that in right here. Now, where you would normally type Python, you type PyDoc, then you type in what you want. He said to take a look at raw input, okay? So I've typed in, oops, I've typed in, raw input pydoc at my uh, prompt, which is part here, and I'm gonna hit return. And now we have a little bit of information. It tells us that raw input, it takes the raw input uh, from the prompt and puts it, feeds it into a string. And so that's how we're gonna say, read a string from standard input. And, you know, this other stuff doesn't really matter so much. And when you're done with this, to get out of it, you press Q, Q for quit. And just so you know, he said, why don't you take a look at PyDoc open. There's our information on open. 
And I want you to see that we have similar information in man. That's for the shell, not for Python, but for the shell, which is the uh, the prompt that we're in right now, the, the command line. And, and you know, this one, uh, it just goes on much longer, much, much longer, longer. And we can type Q to get out of that too. And then he says, take a look at PyDoc file. There it is. It's got a lot of information we can get. Let me press Q. PyDoc OS. Here's a bunch of information. PyDoc sys. Anyhow, the point here is you can easily access help information from the Python sources as well as from the, the, uh, the shell sources for the command line itself. Anyhow, that's it for exercise 12. Hope that helped, and I'll see you again soon.